in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed it is my prayer and my covenant with God that nobody will come here carrying any strange, wicked, familiar spirit and that spirit sits comfortable, opening prayer, comfortable, praise and worship, comfortable, testimonies, comfortable. Then I come up, comfortable, we share the grace and the spirit escorts you back to continue the trouble. No, sir. No, sir. Our prayer is not a waste. The fasting is not a waste. In the name of Jesus, I'm saying again, every spirit that has become a stumbling block upon your life and your destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be separated from that spirit now. Please sit down. The end time church, if we are to compel sinners, and compel men and nations to come to Jesus it must be the church that reveals the God who redeems the God who delivers number four let me finish because I want us to pray the end time church is the church that must be prepared to reveal the God who honors and lifts you want men to come to Jesus, you must present to the nations and for the nations a God who can honor and a God who can lift. First Chronicles 29, 12. A God who honors. Both riches and honor come from thee and thou reignest over all and in thy hand is power and might and in thy hand it is to make great and give strength to all. I will never sell a weak Jesus who does not seem to be interested in lifting men and in honoring men. Among the many benefits are the, that are the privilege of the saints, there is something called the inheritance of the saints in light. I think that should be Colossians 1 and verse 12 or so. The inheritance of the saints in light. Giving thanks to the Father, which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. The God who lives. Psalm 71 verse 21. God gave me this as a prophetic word about three years ago during my birthday. I've refused to leave that word. He did not give me and say by next year I should leave it. Every other thing he's saying, I drag this word with it. Let me, let me quote it and then prophesy it over your life. He said, thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Now let me declare it over you that may my God increase your greatness. May my God increase your greatness. May my God increase your greatness. Hallelujah. So don't be surprised when you hear in Koinonia ordinary people being elevated. It's the God that makes great. I was so touched by the testimony of that gentleman. A young man coming and trekking and moving around. And today God has honored him. Don't tell me it does not matter. He said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds. I'm praying the next testifier, I, I release you in the name of Jesus into your testimony. The next testifier, I release you into your testimony. Honor me, O oh God, in this season. Lay your hands on your head and pray that prayer. Honor me for the sake of your kingdom. Lift me for the sake of your kingdom. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Don't feel guilty for praying that prayer. Your elevation is good for the kingdom. Go ahead and pray. Because my heart is right with you. 
Lord, do not restrain your hand as far as lifting me is concerned. You are a man of God. Pray this sincere prayer. Let it please you to lift my ministry. Give it honor and visibility before the nations. The God who honors, the God who lifts, the God who honors, both riches and honor come from you. Koinonia, pray. If the mountain of the Lord's house must be exalted, and if all nations should flow to it, then that house must present a God that honors, a God that lifts. Hallelujah. It is not just the nations that need that dimension of Jesus. The first prayer is you are going to pray for yourself. Father, let the forgiving Jesus, the healing Jesus, the redeeming and delivering Jesus, the lifting Jesus, and the one who prospers, let him be at work in my life. I surrender my life and my days to this holistic dimension of God. Lift your voice and begin to pray. And for the nations following across the globe, make sure you pray. We are dealing with the mountain of the Lord's house, revealing the biblical portrait of what the end time church should be. Correcting the misrepresentations of God that has brought pungency to the gospel as far as attracting the saints and attracting men to Jesus is concerned. He gave us a mandate we must not fail to obey. He said, go to the highways and the byways. And he said, compel them to come. Koinonia, pray. Father, you are glorifying yourself in this ministry. May I not be exempted. Go ahead and pray. Let me love you more than things. Let me love you more than healing. Let me love you more than deliverance. Let me love you more than lifting. Let me love you more than influence. More than favor. More than wisdom. But Lord, I decree and declare that as I love you, as I live for you, and as I serve you, in the name of Jesus, may my life be a capture of a loving and forgiving Jesus. May my life be a capture of a healing Jesus. May my life be a capture of a redeeming and delivering Jesus. May my life be a capture of the God that he that honors, the God that lifts, and may my life be a capture of the God that satisfies my mouth with good things. Let my children not cry as I serve you. Let my needs be met as I serve you. Let it please you to lift me as I serve you. Let every infirmity in my body die as I serve you. Let my days be lengthened and fulfilled as I serve you. In the name of Jesus, my prayer Lord more love more power more of you in my life more love more power more of you in my life Ela 
Hallelujah. From these guys wearing white, I just saw light on one person. There's a mighty impartation. There is someone you are receiving is a mighty is a mandate that God is placing upon your head. Bring them out. Oh, hey, hey, hey. that you bring them there is a revival that will break out in this city after this conference i want you to believe me a mighty revival a revival without walls there are ancient mantles that are returning back some of you have left those cases and left those mantles it's time for it to it's time for it to come back mantles of evangelism that have been deserted by individuals, by denominations, you are picking it again. The Lord of the harvest is visiting Enugu again. The Lord of the harvest is visiting Enugu again. The Lord of the harvest is visiting Enugu again. I want you to discern first Corinthians 15. Give us verse 1 to 4. Please sit down if you can. When the Lord of the harvest comes, you will know he has come. You will know he has come. There is a gentleman called Chinedu. Your name is Chinedu. There is a fire of revival that is coming upon Chinedu. And the Lord is saying, You are my battle axe. You are my battle axe. I don't know where that person is. Your name is Shinedu. You are a pastor. I need to do what I'm doing first because I'm seeing like a cloud, but this cloud is fire that is falling. And women, I don't know what it is with women in Enugu. There is a spirit of revival. Please hear me. I'm speaking apostolically. Women, this is your season. There is a season. Women, a, a grace and a spirit is coming upon women. This is what I'm hearing in my spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that God will find worthy vessels in you. One of you, I, I just saw fire resting on you. Just one of you. Let that grace come upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let that grace come upon you now. Let that grace come upon you now. Let that grace come upon you now. Come upon you now. Oh, 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 
down if you can. I have to show you this scripture. Please, do we have ushers so that you don't just expose, especially the ladies? If they are not, if there's nothing, you can just keep them behind. There is a reason why I ask that these people come. Hallelujah. Who is Ugo Chuku? I'm hearing the name Ugo Chuku. Ugo Chuku. Ugo Chuku. You're a light skinned gentleman. What's your name? Ugo Chuku. Where are you from? Ugo State. You are not from this state. No, from Imo State, but I want, I want to pray for you. What's your name? Huh? Come. This is the man I saw. Hallelujah. I will pray for you. Where are you from? State. You are in Enugu here. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, I want to pray for you. There is a yoke of darkness. It will take time to minister to people tomorrow, but I have to obey what God is. What do you do? I just i just graduated i've been i've been waiting to know my friend there is a mighty call of god upon your life that grace let it come upon you now you step into that call never to be weak in your spirit never to be weak in your spirit may my god begin to lead you through experiences that will prune build furnish you until you become a mighty vessel hallelujah In the name of Jesus, for all of you who came out, let that grace rest upon you. May you begin a walk with the Spirit, uninterrupted walk with the Spirit, that will transform and translate you into a mighty battle axe, even by the Spirit of the living God. I declare this upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's go to our scripture. I want to show you something. Please. First Corinthians 15. Please sit. Please sit. Because of the security situation in the land, we want to finish very fast. So, I'm just introducing tonight. Now, please look up. This is Paul articulating the gospel in a very clear term. If you have never known what the gospel is, this right here is the gospel. Moreover, my goodness, okay. Brethren, he says, I declare unto you the gospel. Watch this now. I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, he says, which also ye have received. I wish we could project it. I want the people to see it. Is that possible? Hallelujah. They call you Becky. Becky. That should be Rebecca, I think. Becky. That is the name that I hear in my spirit that they call you. Becky. In the name of Jesus Christ. I hear the Lord saying it is coming to an end. It is coming to an end. This is a circle of tragedy. It is coming to an end. I'm seeing someone, you buried your brother, you buried your father. And the Lord is telling me, to rebuke the spirit of death help her in the name of Jesus this is a spirit of death hanging around your family did the Bible not say it is the power of God unto salvation I decree and declare in the name of Jesus the one who died and rose again let that plague of death come to an end over your family hallelujah one gentleman one lady Two of them will shout under the anointing. Please let me speak to them. Don't mind me. Let me just do my thing as a spirit of the living God. One gentleman, one lady. One gentleman, one lady. This is by the influence of the spirit. It's a mighty grace that is coming upon that gentleman and that lady. There is a man of God. You are watching me everything you are seeing in this meeting the lord is going to replicate it in your life and ministry of course i know that there's a place for impartation but there is a particular man of god god is showing me this thing that your ministry will be characterized by a strange demonstration 
of the power of the spirit you will see the manifestation of his power and grace in a way that will surprise you in a way that will surprise you you see let me tell you this there is absolutely no reason to fake anything it's a mockery and an insult to yourself and to God when a man goes to collect uh, power or charm it is foolishness it is even a burden to your own self if you know anything about the devil there is no freedom and liberty with him there is a genuine price by the spirit you can pay to carry grace I will be showing you tomorrow what it really takes to carry the power of the spirit in not saying i have power showing i have power by god and for the purpose of the kingdom hallelujah let's finish the scripture first corinthians 15 verse 1 moreover brethren i declare unto you the gospel watch this which i preach unto you which also ye have received and wherein ye stand reading to 4 verse 2 by which also ye are saved so how were they saved by the communication of the gospel he said if ye keep in memory what i preach unto you unless ye have believed in vain what then is the gospel verse 3 for i delivered unto you first of all that which i also received how that christ died for our sins according to the scriptures for and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scripture the gospel of salvation is the revelation of the father's love revealed in and through the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus his son man and creation being the object of that sacrifice and the bible declares based on the authority of scripture that any man who believes believes in what number one that jesus came as an expression of the love of the father number two that he came and prayed and paid the ultimate price of death shedding his blood and dying are we together now and that he resurrected by the glory of the father peter rounded up his sermon in acts chapter 2 by saying let it now be known to you O israel that this same jesus whom you have crucified have today been exalted as lord and christ pastors we must preach the gospel before we teach the word the word is only for believers who are saved please listen preaching the word rema doctrine communication of truth is only for people who have met jesus it is a waste teaching anybody who is not saved the teaching ministry was designed as you will be learning tomorrow to mature the saints to translate them to be people of stature and to be witnesses but in order of priority the first assignment of any man of God and any believer as far as being incorporated in God's program is concerned is to see to it that men meet Jesus not by blindly claiming salvation not by assuming they are saved longevity around church does not translate to salvation Serving a man of God sincerely does not translate to salvation. Being a worker in church, in fact, being a sincere person does not translate to salvation. Once upon a time, there were three Hebrew boys who refused to bow to the 90 feet stature of Nebuchadnezzar. They said we have been taught to honor government, but on this matter, as touching our faith, we will not bow. And they, they, they increased the fire in the furnace. The Bible says those who threw them were burned by the fire. But as soon as they got in there, let me show you the ministry of power. They saw four men. One was already there. The chains that were used to hold their hand and their feet it was loosed on his own accord and they were walking around there the bible says in daniel 3 men who the fire had no power over how about daniel in the lion's den he was thrown there and left for dead and by morning the king would come and say oh daniel has the god whom you serve 
is he able that means is his power that far to shut the mouth of lions and right from a pit daniel says oh live forever king the god whom i serve has sent his angel I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power your wisdom till the nations see jesus lifted up glorify so breathe lord breathe breathe lord breathe breathe upon my life will you breathe lord breathe breathe lord breathe breathe upon my life i do not know any man in church history you start from the book of acts down to modern history they were ordinary men until power came did you hear what i said they were ordinary men until power arrived collision with genuine power turns a man into a sign and a wonder do you know what it will mean if after this conference from the north to the south east and the west of south africa men suddenly arise every altar becomes a place of fire a place of power sunday services fire wednesday services fire by the spirit of god when the sick are healed just when you are about to recover from that news that is on papers then here comes another one a man who had been blind known to everybody now his eyes open then we hear that someone somewhere who has been crippled for years now gets up from his chair come on now i receive i manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see jesus lifted up exalted i receive i manifest in my generation your power and your wisdom till the nations see jesus lifted up glorified so breathe lord breathe lord breathe breathe lord breathe breathe upon my life say breathe lord breathe lord breathe breathe lord hallelujah so God can send you and say go to this region and you step in there like an inferno of fire in a matter of weeks mighty manifestations of the power of God can I tell you the world of men was designed to not ignore the miraculous it is impossible for the world of men to see genuine miracles manifestations of the hand of God and ignore it no it is not a product you find in the market you don't find power in a bank you don't find power in a library it resides within the office of the Holy Spirit I came to provoke a holy anger within your spirit 
this is not the church Jesus died for not yet not yet we are still becoming and we can insist every man of God can insist every worshiper can insist every every businessman can insist a restoration of power to the church genuine power listen isn't it a shame today that because of the extent of powerlessness in the church unfortunately painfully unfortunately that there are people who can coin miracles that did not happen such an indictment to the ministry of the Holy Spirit to the extent that if something happens now people have to verify was it really God when you are prophesying or ministering in the spirit you have to put guards because they are, they are, the, the first part of call is suspicion come on now I said in my lifetime I will be one of those that God will use to restore power genuine power oh in the name of Jesus once again the world will know that Jesus died indeed they are tired of our stories they need to see a demonstration of the life of God the power of God the ministry of the Spirit we bring the ministry of the Spirit to the nations in a way that all and sundry will be forced to admit that Jesus is Lord hallelujah Nicodemus comes to Jesus by night John chapter 3 and verse 2 he says rabbi we know that thou art a teacher sent from God. It says for no man. Mm -mm. This is not a product that is affordable in the world of men. If you find men with it, they outsource it from a dimension that is beyond the earth. No man can do these miracles which thou doest. Except, that means there is a condition. Ordinarily, men should not walk in that level of power. How do you look at a nation and say by this time tomorrow, not in a radio station? How do you look at a nation and say by this time tomorrow? It's like saying by this time tomorrow, everybody in this place and in South Africa will be the owner of a home. How dare in our world they will jail you for provoking the expectations of people. genuine power I'm just seeing wind moving over this place now this is what I see in the spirit it's a mighty wind that is resting upon people it's what I'm seeing there is an activation happening to your spirit man please be sensitive receive manifest his power his wisdom receive manifest Hallelujah. his power his wisdom receive manifest his power Listen. What? Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe upon my life. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe, Lord. upon my life I receive and manifest ah, your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up a 
of Jesus the son of the living God I want to pray now let me start with ministers of the gospel father there are men and women called of God that need to access superior dimensions of impartation for ministry for efficiency of ministry with integrity and with power therefore I stretch my hands right now in the name that is above all names everyone who is called into ministry right now this moment let this grace and this unction rest upon you now let this grace rest upon you now those called into the prophetic ministry let me activate that grace bring them out prophets receive that grace i stir up that fire my god help them i stir up that fire men and women 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 carry that fire help this woman hold her hold her receive that grace the eyes that see the ears that hear I stir it up South Africa receive an impartation prophetic mantles let it fall 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, watch this. I'm seeing a book in the realm of the spirit. And I'm seeing that book open and light is coming out of it. And the Lord is saying he's imparting the grace for prophetic revelation. The grace for teachers. Where are they? Paris Kabaratos Yata access to the mysteries of the kingdom I impart that grace now I impart that grace now I impart that grace now I impart that grace receive the eyes that see access to the mysteries of the kingdom in the name of Jesus Watch this please. Hear me. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a grace for visibility. Just because you are gifted does not mean the nations will see you and place a demand on you. No, there are many gifted people genuinely gifted but the grace for visibility is not there neither do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel that when that grace comes upon you the borders of nations are open for you mysteriously it was noised abroad that jesus was in town let me pray for someone there is someone here you have worked on yourself but it's time for the nations to know that God has made an investment in you receive that grace right now receive that grace for visibility receive that grace for visibility receive the grace for visibility
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a man of God I'm seeing in my spirit. The Lord is saying he wants to answer the prayers that you have been praying. This man of God has been crying for genuine encounters of power. And the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands that the weight of his power and grace is about to rest upon your head. In the name of Jesus, wherever that man of God is, I stretch my hands right now. Drink of this wine in the name of Jesus. Let that grace rest upon you this moment. Let that grace rest upon you this moment. Let that grace rest upon you this moment. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of God's generals, before he went to be with the Lord, he left a prophecy on earth. Lester Sumrall is his name. And he said, before Christ returns, there will be a resurrection of the healing mantle that it will be restored to the church. I'm saying that because I want to release something upon someone. And the Lord told me that the healing ministry will be restored as it was in the 40s, the 50s, and the 60s. I have seen this in my visions many times. And the Lord told me, I, I hope you believe it, Africa is going to spearhead a healing move, not just an apostolic and a prophetic move, a mighty manifestation of healing mantles. Both men and women will carry this grace, genuine miracles. I don't know those who came here. If there is anyone here who is part of that prophetic army, wherever you are, I stretch my hands. Let this healing mantle, I stand in agreement with all the graces here, as it were for Catherine Kuhlman, Amy Semple McPherson, Maria Woodward Eater, John G. Lake, in the name of Jesus, the T.L. Osborns, we stand by covenant in the name of Jesus. Let that grace rest upon you now. Rest upon you now. Rest upon you now. Rest upon you now. Hallelujah. Now please listen to me. There is a grace for influence even in areas of governance. This is called the governmental church. And I'm glad to know that there are people here. I know there's a judge here. There's a speaker here. I believe that they came as witnesses that God wants to bring this grace upon believers. Gone are the days where people who occupy the seats of government do not call upon the name of the Lord. South Africa, if you have the faith to believe, I stand in faith with all the graces that are here and I pray the men and women who must rise from this conference to occupy positions in parliament, strategic prophetic positions, wherever you are, may this mantle, this grace that enthrones, this kingmaker anointing, wherever you are, may that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Nobody great, nobody great, nobody greater than you. Nobody great, nobody greater, nobody greater than you. I want to pray for you. This prayer may not be for everybody, but I'm praying for someone whose hunger has reached the heavens. And there is a cry from within your spirit. Lord, I want to know you. I'm tired of just playing church. I'm tired of talking about a God whose power I cannot bring on display. In the name that is above all names, I stand upon this altar and I decree and declare the grace that calls men to deeper encounters in the spirit let that grace and that fire let it rest upon you now let it rest upon you now 
upon your ministry oh that in the night while you are sleeping the vistas of heaven will be open unto you may your eyes see may your ears hear in the name of Jesus Christ finally hear me there is a grace for honor you know what honor is honor means to be perceived and to be rewarded to match your true worth man that is in honor and understandeth that not there is no government in any nation even when there was famine there were two people who were not affected the king and the prophet all other men women were eating their children except the king and the prophet priesthood and kingship gives you immunity and the bible says we are both that we have been made unto our god revelations 5 10 kings and priests no wonder when they say there is a casting down the nature of our call and our identity should immune us from the vicissitudes of life. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. I want to pray this grace upon you. Can I tell you? Every generation has men they look up to that represent the speakings of God in their lifetime. There are many preachers. There are many businessmen. There are many captains of industry. But there are names when you call, the generation knows they are there. I want to release this grace upon you. Believe me, believe me, there is a grace that keeps a man relevant throughout the lifetime of his generation. The Bible says, and David served God in his generation and slept with his fathers. When you are talking about governance, you are talking about being strategically relevant as far as a dispensation is concerned and as far as the program of God is concerned. Let it never be that in your lifetime, men, you say you once were great. You once were need, you were a voice that people used to hear. There are people in every nation, you can look 10 years back, they were relevant in ministry, in worship, in music, economically speaking, and all that is left now are stories of yesteryears. Did your Bible not say the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day? The grace to remain relevant throughout the dispensation that God has placed you in. In the name of Jesus, I call upon the God of my covenant. May that mantle rest upon you now. That no power and no force of hell will quench your candle. You will remain relevant through your entire dispensation. No force of darkness will edge you out of relevance. Especially for preachers, it will never be said you were once great. It will never be said you were once impactful. It will never be said you were once anointed. It will never be said you were once on demand as touching God's grace upon your life. Receive the grace for relevance, longevity of impact. I bless that grace upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Our time is gone, but let me one minute will not take testimonies. But just lay your hands if you are trusting God for a healing miracle or you are trusting God to bring any captivity in your life to an end. We are wrapping up, but I have to do justice to speak over your life. Go ahead, lay your hands. Any part of your body you came with a medical report, you came with someone with some medical report, perhaps a death sentence, maybe some cancer. HIV, blood disease, kidney failure, whatever it is. We can't talk about government without allowing the power of God to bring life and healing to many. You may not be sick, but perhaps you have, you have been surrounded by circles of tragedy and failure, repeating themselves back to back. Here is your liberty now. Lay your hands and let me speak over your life. And this also involves, it should involve all those who are following online. Here is your chance to receive. 
father in the name of jesus i stand in faith with the man of god and all the graces here connected we stand under this corporate anointing and i pray for everyone who is sick in his or her body in the name of the lord jesus christ and by the power that raised christ from the dead i command the spirit of infirmity to leave your body now Amen. i command the spirit of infirmity to leave your body now Amen. let god's people go now Amen. in the name of jesus christ Amen. now i declare be healed in the name of jesus Amen. every blind eye be open in the name of jesus Amen. deaf ears be open in the name of jesus Amen bone conditions be corrected now in the name of Jesus Amen. any growth in your body whether cancerous or not we command it to die now Amen. kidney problems liver problems lung problems be healed in the name of Jesus Amen. hepatitis be healed in the name of Jesus Amen lumbar spondylosis be healed in the name of Jesus Amen. pile be healed in the name of Jesus Amen. rheumatoid arthritis be healed in the name of Jesus Amen. any joint pain around your body be healed this moment in the name of Jesus Amen. sugar diabetes be healed in the name of Jesus Amen. And for those who have loved ones, I see some of you lifting points of contact in the name that is above all names. Wherever they are, we declare right here from House of Treasures, may the power of God touch them wherever they are. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For everyone here in business, in the name that is above all names, right from where you are rise to the place of destiny amen by the power of the holy ghost yeah. Yeah. thank you jesus yes lord. give jesus a big hand clap come on glory to jesus hallelujah now please lend me your attention for the next minute or two I've been given the honor of making the altar call. Minimize movement. Everyone stand, please, if you can, except for the few people in front here, but I would request everyone to stand. The Lord is giving someone another opportunity tonight. Perhaps this is your first attendance of this conference, or you have been here and yet not convicted enough to make it right with Jesus. In this prophetic atmosphere, Give me an encounter Give me an impartation Of fresh grace Open your mouth and begin to pray A strong impartation Alikata shafras kebam shana balakata bara kada bomish. Rata kebareto skiata balakusiata. Let tonight be a night of impartation. He pa shakata balakata frasada balakata prata kapara tosia. I saw several people outside. Make sure you are praying. Rake shaparus ka safran dege balakato safras kadiash. Rateke fresca perento shala krasa kete beleketa. Rataka parato sa fresca beleke parusa te fresca te beleketos. Someone pray. Herasho pranta kapara kuska prende beleketo shala kasibias. Shete bekete kete balada bakata fresca te balada bas. E prata kata fresca te balaka shapra te kete Never so brand the Beleko Sabranda Gatabala Kosiata. Shalegres Sabada Velekatabala Kosabranda Gatesh. 
Rakata Barago Sada Balakosiata. Go ahead and pray. My ministry will never be the same. My life will never be the same. Sheba Sata Barasho Branda Gebereko Safraska Balada Bakata Branda Gedebelegeta. Rata Kata Fraska de Belenta Fraska Balakusha Fraska Bedegadesh. Hey, Prashada Balakata Fraska de Belakata Bakata. Hey, Banta Shada Bakata Fraska de Belegatu. Rakesh Sebrenta Gata Belegata Prakatu Safraska Balada Balada. Pray and large your spirit man. Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray that everything that is not the planting of God father take it out of my destiny tonight go ahead and pray everything everything that has limited me in life and destiny limited me in ministry some of you are not serious pray pray with all your heart pray with seriousness Ebrakata pareka paruska fresa belakata parada katoch. Hariku sabra dekatea. Limited your ministry. Limited your voice. Limited your impact. Limited the southeast. In the name of Jesus, it must give way tonight. Epara shopra dekabarakata. Pray, pray, pray. Just a minute or two, go ahead and pray. We are still praying. Everything that is not the planting of God in my life, in my ministry, tonight it must give way by the power of the Holy Ghost. Jesus mighty name we have prayed for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed yes the world will bow down and say you are God every man We'll bow down and say you are king So let's stop right now Why would we wait? King of glory Feel this place 
just want to be with you. Just want to be with you. Uh, King of glory, feel this peace. Just want to be with you. Just want to be with you. Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome, you overcome Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome One more time Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. So as the Spirit of God begins to move tonight, I want you to know that He wants to reveal Himself as the great power of God. The great power of God for impartation and for healings and for all kinds of things. I'm going to be praying for the sick. I'm going to be ministering deliverance by the Spirit. And if you are here trusting God for healing, I want you to insist that your night is the night. Tonight is your night. And while I minister, somewhere along the line, we are going to give you an opportunity to come and shame the devil as you testify of the goodness and the power of God. Hallelujah. Now, one final instruction I will give, and then we'll begin to pray. I want you to stand by faith connecting with all your loved ones that are not here when it has to do with this atmosphere of the spirit you can have the faith of the centurion you don't need to come to my house I am a man under authority having soldiers under me I say to one go and he goeth come and he cometh you too I know from where you are you can speak the word only I want you to believe there might be someone sick at home. There might be someone oppressed at home. They may not be able to make it here. They may not be following online. But by faith you can connect that tonight. This salvation is for me and my house. Do not bend to the negotiation of Pharaoh. When Pharaoh saw that the fire was getting hot. He said we'll allow your men. But leave the women and the children back. Moses said no way. Everybody will go. Everybody. Everybody. Everybody, 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 everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Here's what I want you to do for me now. The first set of people that God is visiting tonight, prophetically, are people who have experienced strange, mysterious delays in life and in destiny. And the Lord wants to bring deliverance. Please, whether you are an usher or not, when I speak like this and the Spirit of God begins to move, I want to plead that you please help me bring the people out by the Spirit of God so that we can make progress. There is a lot for us to do tonight. Every destiny that has been tied down, delayed so that you will not make progress. In the name of Jesus, I am declaring right now, as the Holy Spirit comes upon you, that yoke of delay is broken. That yoke of delay is broken. That yoke of delay is broken. Broken by the Spirit of the Living God. Right now, I declare that grace is falling on you now. The moment that anointing falls upon you, I want you to know that that chain is broken. In the name of Jesus. Therefore, I stretch my hands as many who have been delayed in life and destiny. Let that yoke right now as I speak, wherever you are, be broken now. Please bring them out. Let that yoke be broken now. The yoke of delay. I prophesy restoration as that delay is broken over your life. Broken over your life. 
some of you are ministers of the gospel that spirit of delay i rebuke from your life right now i rebuke from your ministry right now by the power that raised christ from the dead be set free now open your mouth and begin to declare your liberty from delay from the spirit of delay Delay be broken. Delay be broken. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Pray and we will pray Southeast. The spirit of delay must lead your life and your destiny. Those outside, make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing three stones. One, two, three. And the Lord is saying it represents covenants of ancestry and that he wants to set people free. Many, many people you may not know, but as I pray right now, the Holy Ghost will descend upon you and every covenant connected to the earth that has tied your destiny as you shout the name Jesus that grace comes upon you now Satan you let God's people go now are you ready one two three shout Jesus be broken now be broken now bring them out be broken now I command my God please help them I cause foundation every covenant of ancestry every yoke of darkness hear ye the word of the lord be set free i bring you liberty now liberty by the spirit liberty by the spirit liberty by the spirit liberty by the spirit from all the regions that represent the east of the niger any family, any destiny tied to witchcraft, I say it again, be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Saika Shalaska Faranda Kaprakehetsu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm seeing something like a ring being removed from the hands of people. And there are all kinds of wicked satanic covenants that have tied people. And the ring is a symbolism of covenant. I'm praying again whatever it is that is not of God that has bound you to the devil as I stretch my hands towards you every evil that is not of God that has not been planted by my God let it be uprooted from your life now let it be uprooted from your life now let it be uprooted from your life now let it be uprooted from your life now. Hallelujah. Who is Jennifer? Jennifer. I'm hearing the name Jennifer. Jennifer. My goodness. Please help them. Help them. Be careful so you don't march on people. Just take it easy. I will pray for all those who are in front here now so they can return to their seat. Jennifer. I presume that there will be many people with that name, but I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. Haros Kalikadea. Jennifer, I want to pray for you every planting i'm going to pray for your families using you you will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen to you after this prayer father in the name of jesus christ hallelujah 
the Lord is showing me, I don't know if you are a couple or you came alone. Five years, you are trusting God for the foot of the womb. Please listen to the instruction. Don't just jump out. Five years. Who is the person? Five years. Five, exactly five years. I'm not saying you are just trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Five years. This is what the Lord is showing me. Who is that person? Salvation has come for you. My friend, you, we have to hurry up. There's a lot for us to do. She's five years. My sister, look at me. I want to pray for you. Five years. And this is amazing. I'm praying. Ah. God is going to rewrite people's stories. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray for this lady. But I'm hearing a shout from my right side. You would think that I'm praying here. And yet the person the power of God is touching is by my right side at the crowd there. And you are wondering, okay, what is God doing? What kind of impartation is happening to someone right there that I'm praying for people in front here and I've not even attended to their needs. And yet the person that God is touching is right somewhere at the back. Please, when you find that person, bring that person for me. It's a marvelous impartation that God is doing for that person. You will never be the same. It is a reign of the Spirit upon your life. My sister, five years you've been trusting the Lord for the fruit of the womb. Where are you from? Huh? Abia State. Abia State. You believe in Jesus? Yes. Father, I don't care what the situation is. In the name of Jesus, by the rod of a higher priesthood, I stretch my hands towards you according to the time of life. In the name of Jesus, return with your miracle. Yes. Return with your miracle. I release that grace upon you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for all of you here I hope you are married in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I decree and declare trusting God for the fruit of the womb my sister look at me this lady I just saw like fire come upon your head and the Lord is saying it is over this is what I announce to you by the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God let it come to an end by the Spirit of the living God in the name of Jesus now there are two ladies you are not married but you're going to begin to feel fire literal fire in your belly this one is a prophetic thing God is doing this one has nothing to do with it's like pregnancy but there is an impartation of the spirit there is something that God is doing it says out of your belly shall flow there is there is a stirring within your spirit man and what is happening to you is as a response to that hallelujah let me pray for those who are here first all of you who has come out my dear the lord is going to use you this lady wearing blue i release that grace now upon you you will never be the same by the power of the holy spirit may the lord find a mighty vessel in you in the name of jesus now for all of you who are here i stretch my hands everything that represents the workings of darkness the workings of witchcraft right now you are here standing i release you let it be broken now let it be broken now let it be broken now let, uh, let it be broken now from your life broken from your destiny never to return to you again in the name of jesus christ hallelujah who is joel joel j-o-e-l i'm hearing a name joel 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 is there someone with that name you are wearing like i'm seeing it like an orange t-shirt joel is there someone like that an orange t-shirt this is what i'm seeing in my vision joel please verify what is your name my friend come i'm under the shadow of you your influence is all over me. I am under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. Joel, look at me. What do you do? I'm a comedian and a student. You are a comedian? Yes, sir. Hmm. 
what is the relationship between comedy and ministry because this man as i'm looking at you i'm seeing a mighty call of god upon your life this is this is this looks like you are just making people laugh but there is a grace that is coming upon you you will marvel and wonder at what god begins to do i stretch my hands may that anointing for your destiny let it rest upon you right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ and for this joel in the name of jesus you are joel also i decree and declare as you have believed i release grace upon you may god use you mightily in the name of jesus christ your father does woodwork like a carpenter like woodwork what does your father do carpenter I am victorious. My friend, listen to me. God is going to use you to wipe the tears of your family. Listen. Because I'm looking at someone in my vision and this has been your prayer. That God will lift you so that you will lift your family members. Let me tell you the truth. God is going to honor you in ways that will surprise you and as i'm praying for him i'm praying for everyone here may god raise you for the sake of your loved ones i say it again may my god raise you for the sake of your loved ones in the name of jesus christ there is someone here your mother has cancer this is what i'm seeing your mother has cancer I'm going to pray for the sick shortly, but just, just allow me to do what God, your mother has cancer. If there is such a person, please let me just speak over your life very quickly before we continue. Your mother has cancer. Whether you are outside, please when you find such a person, let me know. And if it's someone who is following online, let me know. I want to pray for you because this is a manifestation of the spirit of death. I want to pray for you. There is someone here as you are here now you are holding the photo of your loved one i think it's like someone who is sick a re hard photo copy i'm not talking of uh, maybe phone by phone a hard copy of your loved one i want to pray for you please make sure you don't tell lies and and then you respond quickly so that we don't waste our time hallelujah you are holding a photo if you are that person let me just speak over your life before we pray hallelujah one two three four five six seven i'm seeing seven people in my vision and no no i'm not even talking of this this is for something else the seven people in my vision that i'm seeing i want to pray a prayer for them now and that prayer that i'm praying for them seven of you there is a mighty grace for leadership this is the anointing that is coming on you i want to pray for them seven there might be many people but this some of you do not even know that you have been called is a joseph order of grace i pray for you wherever you are seven of you may that grace right now rest upon you may that grace rest upon you apostolic leadership by the spirit of god may that grace be released upon you now in the name of jesus christ may that grace help them please may that grace rest upon you now in the name of Jesus let me pray for you the one holding the photo I, I can imagine that most of you are holding people's photos but I want to pray for you one of you right now as I'm speaking the power of God is coming upon you I just saw like fire just come upon you there's one of you right now it's an instruction God gave me to wait until that happens and then I can minister to you in the name of Jesus the son of the living God right now for the sick person you are holding ah i'm hearing another name even though i'm in the east i'm hearing how do how do i don't know if it's the name of somebody or your son name how do a u d u i believe that should be it this is the east but i'm hearing that name how do and i'm hearing restoration for that family i don't know who that person is but if you are in this place, please let me minister to you. Otherwise, I want you to open up your heart to receive. I pray for all those who are holding their photos here. 
in the name of Jesus the son of the living God for every need that is represented in the photos of your loved ones may the God of heaven arise and visit them right now write this down there is a mighty revival that is coming to your campus hear what I'm saying there is a mighty revival that is coming to your campus and some of those people are in this place right now I'm not even talking of fellowship leaders there is a mighty revival I started seeing this in the morning and the Lord has given me the allowance to release that grace you are a student on campus here it's time for you to receive of this fire and this grace Lord where are they the men and women that you are calling by the spirit in this season at the count of three I'm going to stretch my hand may this mantle from heaven that it will rest and ignite you with fire from whatever campus you are here represented father at the count of three let those that will spearhead your mighty move across campuses may this fire and this grace rest upon them now one two three take that fire take that fire take that fire upon the campus prayer like never before revelation like never before consecration like never before both students and lecturers carry that grace both students and lecturers carry that grace both students and lecturers carry that grace in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the lord is showing me a gentleman here i want to pray for you I hope I'm not wasting your time. You are from a royal family. You are from a royal family. You are from a royal family. You are a gentleman from a royal family. I want to pray for you. There is something that destroys people where you came from. Royal, make sure you are from a royal family. Please let me, who is that person? You are from a royal family? Where is that? In Otumbi, in What's the name of the um, how do they how do you call it here? So someone help me. What was the Enetu prayer family of River State? Okay. How about you, sir? Nsuka. Alolo Nsuka. What family? His right hand is Igwe Gumwezi. Alolo Nsuka. Is there someone like that? Many of you may not know. How about you? I want to pray. There is a spirit. Perhaps not all of you. But the Lord is asking me to pray. You come from a royal family. There is something we need to destroy. Even though it's a royal family, people never become great. And if anybody rises to be great, it's like a sacrifice. You start having dreams and that person must go down. I want to pray for you. Why are these gentlemen coming? You are from a royal family? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, there are two of you here. The call of God is upon your life. The mighty call of God is upon your life. Call of God is upon your life. I'm praying for you. Let me start with those two. In the name of Jesus Christ, the dealings of the Spirit that will make you become powerful vessels, may that grace be released upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, may that grace be released upon you. And then for everyone here, any covenant connected to the family you are coming from that kills people, and destroys people in the name of Jesus we declare that spirit leaves you once and for all yeah. hallelujah you have been looking for your brother this is almost four years and you have not seen the person this is what the Lord is revealing to me almost four years it's like the person whether is missing or went somewhere but they've not been able to see the person they don't even know whether he is dead or the person is alive and the Lord is asking me to pray the person is not dead with what I'm seeing in my vision somebody told him that they want to walk out a way for him and take him to Europe to go out of Nigeria in the name of Jesus I pray for that family huh? no listen don't, don't cry your brother who is that who is, who is, who is your brother? Yes, sir. Where? From that answer. 
From from Delta. You are from Delta. Yes. Sir. You've not seen him. No. For how long? More than ten years now. He's ah. about to travel abroad. This one I'm talking about four years, but I will still pray for you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Where are you coming from, my friend? I'm seeing a chain around you, and the Lord is saying, "Lose him." I declare right now, let that chain leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that chain be broken from your life by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, everyone who is missing in your life and everything that is missing in your life by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may it be restored now. May it be restored now. May it be restored now in the name of Jesus. Now, the Lord wants me to pray against the spirit of death. The spirit of death. Some of you will be surprised as I pray this prayer because you go to sleep and all you see are dead people that have already gone. Some of them calling you and you have prayed for some of you, you have fasted and you don't know what is this thing that is connecting you with the dead. I want to pray for you and bring a separation between life and death there is a gulf in the spirit and they should never meet anyone here who is a victim of the manipulation of the spirit of death right now as i stretch my hands may that grace come upon you for your deliverance be set free help them please be set free from that satanic influence i declare you shall not die I declare you shall not die. I declare you shall not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a vision. Madam, I'm seeing in a vision your prayer mountain. This is what God is showing me in a vision. And the Lord is saying I should tell you that you have been faithful. That another cubit is measured for you in the spirit this is what God is saying I should tell you that another cubit is being measured for you in the spirit and that you will begin to walk in higher levels of prophetic power this is what God is revealing to me that he will start showing you not just things relating to those around you but even things that are connected to nations and territories and God is saying as a sign you will start having people come from many nations for a retreat on your prayer ground not just people around people will come as a group from other nations and say we have heard about what God is doing we are coming here to come and pray and to access grace may the Lord bring his word to pass even by the Spirit of the Living God in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ is there someone with a name Elo Chuku Elo Chuku E-L-O then Chuku Elo Chuku I believe that is a name Elo Chuku is there someone with that name I want to pray for you the Lord wants to bring to end every satanic captivity Elo Chuku I'm hearing that name in the spirit what do you do sir your wife is it a male or female name or both? Okay, both. Your name is Elo Chiku. Your wife, sir. What do you do? Me. I'm a minister. You're a minister of the gospel. Yes, sir. You run a church. Yeah. I want to pray for you. We'll pray since you are standing in for your wife. We'll pray for you. Elo Chuku. The Lord wants to roll away shame and reproach. Is it your name or your son name? Sir. My son name. Your son name. Yes, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. There is a gentleman that I'm seeing by the Spirit of God. The revelatory grace, the grace of a teacher, but it's a prophetic dimension of a teacher. You will become a rising voice almost it will be like, where did this guy suddenly come from? You will start teaching scripture with such power. This is an ordination that God wants to bring you into this dimension. I know that there are many people who desire this grace, but I'm praying for you now. There is a gentleman, but I'm also seeing the fire spread. There are at least 11 of you from that one person. A strange grace, prophetic dimension 
of the teaching grace i stretch my hands towards you wherever you are may my god bring you into that level of spiritual understanding hallelujah listen i know that i'm praying for everybody but there is an exact gentleman you will start ministering with strange levels of understanding your spiritual acumen your understanding of scripture people will look at you even those who are close to you will say in the last two or three months you have changed something has come on you this man is one of them wearing glasses take that grace may that grace rest upon you a strange order of the spirit of revelation in the name of jesus the son of the living god your eyes will see insight into the word of god and everybody who desires that grace i stretch my hands may the spirit of revelation rest upon you now may the spirit of revelation rest upon you now rest upon you now hallelujah bishop sir with all due respect the lord is saying i should speak to your wife and to you first to your wife madam i do not know you but there is the grace a prophetic grace that god is placing upon this woman you have seen it in a dimension but the lord is measuring another cubit and i stretch my hands may you begin to walk in this strange order of grace in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah and your lordship sir with all due respect let me just speak to you I'm seeing you climb a ladder in the spirit and every time the Lord shows me this he's increasing your sphere of influence and placing grace I release that grace now let it come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ for you and your wife and for your vision I shift you by prophecy into a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ please help him help him let's honor him as touching what he carries God bless you. Thank you for your humility, sir. May the Lord truly honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Sir, new wine. This man, new wine. Come. Please come. New wine is coming upon you. Father, help this man let grace rest upon you things you have not seen dimensions you have not entered may my god bring you into this experience in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ that grace rests upon you in the mighty and matchless name of jesus there is a gentleman you are among those doing the work of the protocol but there is a mighty hand of god upon your life and the Lord is saying, I should tell you that your time of visitation is here. You are among the gentlemen doing the protocol work. But in the name of Jesus, wherever that person is, I decree and declare, help him. In the name of Jesus, let that grace rest upon you and shift you to strange dimensions in the spirit. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is still telling me that he wants to raise teachers in the east. I'm hearing this in the spirit that he wants to raise teachers in the east and he's asking me to still pray that prayer that I pray he wants to raise teachers soundness of the word I pray for you I don't know how many people are aligning their spirit to this prophetic word but let that teacher anointing let it rest upon you now let that teacher anointing rest upon you now rest upon you now to build God's people with power to build God's people with grace hallelujah I gave a prophetic word was it yesterday or this morning and the Lord is asking me to repeat it about a boy state that there are people I am seeing a Macedonian call the Lord is still asking me to repeat it I gave that word yesterday that there is a revival that God wants to bring in a boy state and there is a Macedonian call there are people who are available and willing but they are looking for people of stature that God will use to mentor and raise and train them I'm praying for them and if there is anyone here who God will be sending or through your life or through your ministry I'm praying that the engracing to raise these mighty people let it be released upon you 
let it be released upon you hallelujah there is a woman the power of god is coming upon you you are an example of what they call a prayer warrior you are really a prayer warrior not just in name you are really a prayer warrior may that grace i'm staring that grace you are a woman you are really a prayer warrior such power and grace is going to come upon you you will pray and shift the climates of cities and nations even by the spirit help them please so that you don't have to drag them just take it easy a prayer warrior you know most people just say i'm a prayer warrior a prayer warrior is a warrior that was in the place of prayer and birth establishing victory and praying wherever that woman is let that grace that you need for the season that is coming may it be released upon you now may it be released upon you now in the name of jesus is there someone by the name christopher christopher i'm hearing the name christopher like chris christopher in the name of jesus christ christopher what do you do my friend this man or what huh? no 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 don't cry what what talk to me my friend i just came back from abroad you just came back from abroad yeah. with nothing to show for it because you have been there and nothing happened to you this thing is a very demonic and spiritual thing i want to pray for you see promotion does not come from the east nor the west nor wherever it is i can tell you if god does not show men mercy you can wake up in the morning and sleep late in the night you will still eat the bread of sorrow hallelujah please don't be offended i want to make a call that is not a usual call i want to pray for you there is a gentleman here i want to pray for you your friend is a cultist and god wants to deliver both you and deliver your friend i would not say this if god did not put it in my heart you are a sincere person but your friend has something to do with all this this um, this satanic cultic occultic thing the lord wants to bring you liberty the lord wants to bring you liberty christopher i want to pray for you christopher you prayed and you cried for another measure i'm still saying this thing oh i'm seeing so that you do not become a victim of your own friendship in the name of jesus christ christopher remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old for behold i am doing a new thing behold i am doing a new thing behold i am doing a new thing i'm praying for you right now you are the gentleman thank you for your courage eh? don't worry i'm not here to embarrass you you understand your friend is a cultist. I want to pray for you. You see, when we do these things, it's beyond a man of God just showing that you are prophetic. You see, this is the mistake that people make. Sometimes you write, it takes a lot of courage for this man to come. The Bible says, listen to me, God wants to help. Ah, what am I seeing now? Don't sit back, oh, if God wants to help you. Don't sit back. Come, I want to pray for you and deliver you and pray for your friend cultist just stand this these people have finished praying for you in jesus name you return with testimonies huh in the name of jesus please return to your seat rejoicing i want to pray for this my gentleman in fact I, I don't mean to embarrass you but one of you god needs to help you you went somewhere and they gave you something to tie and with this thing it has been troubling you disturbing you now as i speak you are in this place there is no peace for you I don't know if it's safe to ask you to come out but you really really need to be helped of god huh my friend look at me don't be embarrassed eh? don't be embarrassed i want to pray for you when god reveals the purpose is redemption you believe that this is not to stigmatize people so that you go and start saying oh you are a devil you are a demon is the reason why sometimes except compelled by the spirit it's wiser to just see the people afterward but sometimes god allows this thing as a sign and a wonder how do you stand in a crowd like this and then you are talking about this and these gentlemen are coming 
gentlemen i believe that you have great destinies and we do not condemn you this is a house of love you understand but then you need to be prayed for because some of you i'm seeing one of you and please don't feel bad that's why i said so that you don't become a victim of your friendship that they are asking the person you must give somebody who is your friend and the person is saying okay whatever it is they are taking your picture and stabbing it with a knife and then the person just dies just like that everything that is not of god manipulations of darkness that involves you for your sake let it die now i say it again for your sake let every plot of darkness let it give way now my friends please look at me i love you with all my heart and i'm going to pray for you but i will with all due respect maybe refer you to any of the ministers out after service because this kind of issue is not just prayer for you to go the bible says blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked nor stand in the way of sinners nor sit in the seat of the scornful it says but his delight is in the law of the lord and on that lord doth he meditate day and night so i pray for you that every spirit that has been connected to you by reason of this occultic satanic activity whether it is friendship or it is you being the victim yourself i stretch my hands by the blood of the eternal covenant that speaketh better things than the blood of abel i declare your eternal separation right now in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you gentlemen please you stand up perhaps maybe someone can meet with them after service let me pray my friend who came from where where is abroad cyprus not at cyprus how long were you there three and a half years and you came back with nothing <laughs> don't cry i need to pray for you father show him mercy in the name of jesus show him mercy and restore him and i'm praying for every one of you here you have come out for various calls in the name that is above all names one of you i'm hearing is savior God is going to use you to lift your family members. I prayed that prayer earlier, but for you, I'm talking of those in front here. I stretch my hands upon that one person. Let the grace allocated for this assignment now be released upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the grace allocated for this assignment be released upon you now. And for all of you who are here, I declare in Jesus' name, you will return with testimonies. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you return with testimonies by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Let's celebrate them as they go. Hallelujah. Now hear me. I want to pray the Lord wants to minister particularly for anyone having any demonic satanic growth in your body. It doesn't matter what name it has been called. I'm going to pray right now, whether it's from fibroid, whether it's cancer, anything planting that is not of God, male or female. And I'm seeing a gentleman, is it your elder brother? I'm hearing prostrate, prostrate, it's like prostrate, like cancer, prostrate cancer. This is something that happens to men. Who is that person? I want to pray. If not, I'm seeing that the devil wants to just take that person's life. I want to pray. You can see, mama, I'm going to pray for the sick while we're getting into the healing now but the Lord particularly is asking me to speak to these people growths satanic growths in your body that must give way now everybody please begin to pray in the spirit pray in the spirit with understanding those outside you are part of the service online part of the service any demonic stranger manifesting as a growth in your body it's time for it to give way every planting that is not by my father I'm about to pray for you and it must give way are you praying in the spirit miracles are happening right now miracles are happening right now 
Miracles are happening right now. Miracles are happening right now. That demonic growth is leaving you right now. Living by the Spirit of God. Help that woman that has something that looks like a mask on her throat. Hallelujah. Now hear me. I'm going to pray for you. There are some of you who will need to go to the hospital to verify. I'm talking of growth, particularly growth. I want to pray and then we'll take other cases now. In the name of Jesus. Now please, by faith, make contact with any part of your body where that growth is. And those in the crowd, right where you are, you can stand in for someone that you know. You don't have to come out, but you can stand in by faith. Lay your hands, if it's your, your tummy or wherever. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Ah, something is happening right now. Yes, sir. Something is happening right now. Jesus. Something special. Supernatural. About your name. Jesus, help that woman, please. Something happens when I man. Now I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a whirlwind, and I'm seeing a dark object just coming out of people right now. I decree and declare the spirit that is back of this oppression. I speak as one sent by the Lord. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Release them. Every satanic influence. I command that it comes out of your body now. Every satanic growth leaves now. Leaves now. Leaves now. Cancerous growth. I command that they die from your body now. I command fibroids, you dry out of this body now. Help them please. I cause every fibroid, every growth, it leaves this body right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. And every kind of lung that is found in any part of your body that was not ordained by God as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ here in Enugu state we cause it to go back to the devil where it came from in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm feeling a sharp pain at my left side this is what one of you has very sharp pain at the left side that demonic pain is living now that satanic pain is living now and hear me if there is any one of you because of these fibroids it has affected your fertility I release you go and give birth now go and give birth now help that woman I release you go and keep that now help her I release you go and have your children now in the name of Jesus Christ return to your seat rejoicing as you check yourself will give room for you to testify now everyone else there's a strong healing anointing here please rise up on your feet if you can lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle right now Lay your hands. If you came with someone who is sick, inside or outside, now is the time to believe God for them. Lay your hands. Your head, lay your hands. If it's your ear, lay your hands there. If it's a part of your body, you don't have to bring them out. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest or wherever. If it's someone who is blind or you are the one who is blind, lay your hands on your eyes deaf ears any kind of mobility problem please lay your hands and let's trust the lord for a miracle right now 
my God, I sense such a strong anointing. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Listen. Jesus was speaking and said, did I not tell you that if you can't believe that you will see the glory of God I want to pray for you in one minute I want you to take your attention away from that sickness and just look unto Jesus I know you are feeling the pain I know the bones seem like they don't have life and strength I know that the ear may seem deaf on one hand whatever it is I just want you to believe God there is a lady from where I am standing. You are wearing white. That lady. It's not word of knowledge. I'm seeing her. I want to speak to her. That lady wearing white that is praying right now. Come. I'm still praying for the sick. But I want to speak to that lady. Come. My dear, look at me. You are going to become a powerful vessel in the hand of God. A very powerful powerful vessel in the hand of God but he will lead you through many seasons of dealings there are prunings there are things that will happen but in the end of it it will be a very superior kind of believer that you will become and the Lord is asking me to pray for you if his stamina God has given it to you God placed something upon your spirit that even you you are not aware of I stretch my hands let grace rest upon you that from today you will not be an ordinary person the consecrations and the dealings in the spirit that need to build you to become that vessel of honor I release that grace upon you now in the name of Jesus you will not be small you will be a powerful vessel in the hand of God grace to go through the dealings grace to go through the prunings grace to go through the circumcision until you evolve as a powerful vessel of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ let's pray let's pray if you are standing in for someone now here's what will happen there are several miracles that have already happened here I want you very quickly I'm going to pray as soon as I pray I will declare by faith by the power of the Holy Spirit and I want you to believe that the hand of God will rest upon you I would want let's have two ministers maybe one pastor here one pastor here the moment something happens to you whether you are up the balcony, you're outside, you're inside, I want you to run and come and stand. Let's take a few testimonies and then we'll go straight to the impartation and after the impartation, we're done. I really look forward to the grace that is coming upon your life and destiny. But for now, we have to do justice to the sick. So let's have one, maybe a man of God here, another one there. And the moment I pray for you and the power of God touches you, don't be ashamed, don't be afraid. Some of you checking yourself, you see that miracles are already happening. But allow me finish the prayer and then you come. Let's pray. Let's pray. What evil worship song do you know? Somebody raise one powerful evil worship song just for a minute or two. This is what the Lord is speaking. Organize yourselves. Make sure you raise a song that really brings people one powerful Igbo song. Go ahead. Akaya, Akaya, Aka Jehovah Nemema, Olemubeya, Kena Digire Nebemo, Isi Kendu. Hey, Now 
now in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I decree and declare right now every spirit of infirmity here represented by the power that raised Christ from the dead I declare that you will let God's people go now you will let God's people go now you will let God's people go now I decree and declare be healed right now I bring you the healing power of Jesus right now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in the name of Jesus migraine headaches be healed blood conditions be healed every growth in your body I command it to live now anyone having a bone problem and it has affected your walking in the name of Jesus be healed now whether you are deaf on one ear or both ears I command the deaf ear to be open now let the eyes that could not see begin to see now the Lord is healing someone you have a condition I don't know if it's a heart condition around your chest that heaviness is lifted right now that heaviness is lifted right now in the name of Jesus there's someone you are not completely crippled but you could not walk well the moment I pray for you now begin to walk you will see that a miracle has happened to you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing someone you have severe pain just at this side of your neck the power of God is touching you right now and you will begin to do what you could not do in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me a gentleman you are not able to squat down because I don't know what is wrong with your kneecap but in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching you right now the Lord is healing a lady you are not a young lady but this thing has affected your health what the Bible calls the issue of blood this thing has become a plague it has drained your health drained life out of you the power of God is coming upon you right now be healed in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing someone being healed of pile very severe painful pile be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit severe pain around your abdominal region here it looks like appendicitis the power of God is touching you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now there is someone you have started having severe pain on one side of your body this thing first started with your hand when you lie down you will feel numb and then it comes back and then now it started around your joint areas I want to pray for you this is a symptom of arthritis I'm not a medical doctor but this is what the Holy Spirit is speaking to me about in the name of Jesus wherever that person is let there be healing right now let there be healing right now the Lord is showing me someone you see you are not blind but once it is night you cannot drive because you are not able to see you don't see and if you are not careful you can hit someone in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you wherever you are you don't have to come out my friend but in Jesus name be healed right now chest conditions be healed right now if there is anyone here suffering from any kidney infection or kidney problem ah yeah a miracle is happening to you right now a miracle is happening to you right now you will know you have been healed because a pain help that woman the pain that you used to have that pain is vanishing right now in the name of Jesus Christ you had a dream and one side something happened to one side of your breast and you have been afraid to go to the hospital but the truth is you started feeling a lot of pain and you are afraid so that they would not tell you 
is something you don't want to hear in the name of Jesus I don't know who that person is the left breast I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead let that devil leave your body now yeah. hallelujah there is someone you've started forgetting things it's a medical condition they call dementia where you don't recall things again you you start you if you forget it's like you're forgetting names and forgetting you know identities of people in the name of Jesus whether you are here or it's any of your loved ones I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead be healed right now now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus by the power that raised Christ from the dead I speak to you be healed now there is very severe pain that I'm seeing someone is having your entire back your spine area excruciating pain in the name of Jesus let that pain live now now everyone here as an act of faith as I pray for you for some of you whilst you came under the anointing here you saw that a miracle has happened I don't want you to be afraid I don't want you to be ashamed you are in this place do what you could not do before and you see that there is a miracle that has happened to you I want you to leave your seat rejoicing come and stand here and let's give you an opportunity to testify of the goodness of God are you seeing miracles already happening to people to squat or to do my leg day or yes but this at the moment you say it in here I held my knee and the pain run do what you couldn't do look at this are you giving Jesus praise may God bless you celebrate the hand of God this guy had a severe cough severe cough severe cough and has lasted for so long and right now he's free completely in the name of Jesus Christ out oh there very quickly let's see you organize them someone should be organizing them so they make it easy okay he go ahead had severe pains on his back Wait. severe back pain yes Wait. right now gone gone let's celebrate Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ it never returns yes please pile for five years you've had pile medically verified yes have you gone to the hospital yes I've taken every type of drugs You've taken every kind of drug. Yes. And, and it did not go. Yes. But and you, now I cannot feel it. It's gone. It's gone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you celebrating Jesus? It will never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Gone forever. Yes, sir. Another case of pile. Gone. Another uh, case of pile. Yes, sir. How long have you had it, my dear? For months, sir. For months. Yes. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's celebrate her. Yes, please. She has had pains on one part of her body, on the right part, for the past two years. For the past two years, Mama? Yes. Where? What part of your body? This part of my body. And right when now? you mention it. Lift your hand. Lift do what you couldn't do. Lift it up. Down. Lift it up. Down. Lift it up. Down. Let's celebrate Jesus. It will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. This this lady came with neck pain. Neck pain. Yes, but for how side, long? For a week. For a week. For a week, week I've been having the pain. But after, when I was praying, I was not seeing the pain. But after the prayer, the instant healing took place. In the name of Jesus. Instant Christ. healing. This now, young woman here also had kneecap injury. You had a kneecap. No, no, don't worry. You don't have to. Kneecap but injury. now she's free for how long almost since 2006 i had an accident on this same leg walk look at this since 2006 she had an accident there father we give you all the huh? what did you say I'm trying to climb the staircase. If I climb, I have to hold the rail before I'm able to. I stop wearing heels. Walk up and come here. There. Look at this. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit now let's let's take perhaps maybe just one here and then two or three more we have to rush so we do the impartation the promise is to close on time go ahead she put to bed in February she put to bed February yes and since then her waist shifted now watch this hips. that she put to bed let me hear her I put I gave birth to a baby in February and then my hip bone shifted this side your and hip bone then, shifted yes after it, you gave birth yes and since then I feel that I even came here with the pain when I sit when I stand I feel it bend it down now me. check yourself In the name of Jesus Christ, perfection for your body. In Jesus' name, I pray. Mm. Yes, please. West pain uh, that affected his left part. The West, left leg. West pain. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are perfected forever by the power of the Holy Spirit. Can we have just one or two more? Yes. She had issues seeing. She could not see without glasses. How long? Yes, sir. You could not see without glasses. Yes, sir. Where are your glasses? Yes, my bag. You kept them there. Yes. And you can see everything now. Yes, yes. Give Jesus praise. This guy came in. Apostle, this guy came in with chest pain triggered by ulcer. By ulcer. Yes. And but right when you now, made declarations, it left him. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you. Never return to you. Yes. Since there's one more, let's just finish. This one came in here with colon cancer colon cancer cancer yes sir verified medically you went to the hospital how long it has stayed for over a year and six months have you done any surgery no i've not done they, uh, they uh, placed me under chemotherapy so i just went for one you, oh you've, yes. you've started chemotherapy yes i only did one and after that one i listened to this message engaging the light four days ago that was when my miracle happened i wanted to help back but i said no I was begging my dad. I was Colon begging, cancer. I was begging my father, please don't take me to that chemotherapy tomorrow. Because I know I am already healed. I know it's not nobody's telling me. So you go and verify, but I pray for you. I'm very touched by your case. Come, come. Let me take a minute to just speak over your life. Colon cancer. Anything cancer is satanic. Let me just tell you up front. Cancer is like a death sentence. It will first waste your finances before it kills the person. That's to tell you how demonic it is. There is nobody that suffers cancer whose finances will not suffer, no matter how wealthy you are. It will first waste finances, destroy people's peace. They cannot be of God. My friend, what's your name? What's your name? Divine. Yes. Father, we pray as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. We agree by faith. This is a young man. Let him not die from colon cancer. We speak life to you as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because you have believed, you go with your testimony. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. She had chronic dry eyes. She could not behold the screen for long. Dry eyes. Yes. And right now, um, I don't feel any pain anymore. Completely. Now, for all of you, let's celebrate her. For all of you, my sincere apologies. I know that all of you would have wanted to testify, but for the sake of time, so we just quickly do the impartation. I see that gentleman so pressed. What happened to you? The thing Not is that I have sugar in the blood, and it gives me pain here and here. So when I fell under the anointing, I couldn't feel it again. Completely. Let's give Jesus praise. In the name of Jesus. For all of you who have come out to testify, in the name of Jesus, the Lord perfects your miracles. In Jesus' name. Please rise up on your feet. It's time to receive something now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, oh my Father, for giving us your Son and leaving your Spirit till your work on earth is done. One more time. Thank you, oh my Father, for giving us your Son and leaving your Spirit till your work on earth is done. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. 
do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos. Kata Branda Kata Bakotos Kotopre Katekanekata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.